Hello folks, this is K2JMA. And what I have here is a Tar Heel, Little Tar Heel 2. And basically this antenna, I bought it as is for a hundred bucks. Um, you know, and the motor's dead. Alright, first off, when you take this apart, take the screws off, off of this that connects right up to here, okay, to up here. Alright, the little holes right there, you'll see the screws would go there. And that keeps this piece on. Now you gotta disconnect that. When you do, then you have to come down here and take all the rivets that are over here. You're gonna see a bunch of rivets up in this section. Drill those out. Take off your bottom piece, which is screws, okay? That's your area for your mount and the signal goes through then you can slide this down and pull this out okay let me show you here real quick all right there you go there's the motor as you can see if we can get a good look in here very corroded all right very rusty what I'm going to try to do is I want to take all this apart okay and then go from and rebuild it anyways they said this is supposed to have these heavy-duty motors yeah right this thing looks like something that came out of a, a toy all right no markings on it hopefully everybody can see it you know that's your sensor I believe yeah very cheaply made all right in my opinion look at that the coupling shaft and this looks like something you would use out of a snake <laughs> anyways yeah i would not spend 500 something dollars for this antenna just my opinion sorry but if you're going to build something like this you need a better motor all right just my two cents worth now you know if you're going to spend the money for something small, get the SD330 by Diamond. All right. <clears throat> it may have some quirks too, but this antenna, in my opinion, it's not very well built. It's funny. I don't care if it was cleaned or not. It's just it's really cheap on how they can use a motor. That's my emphasis right here, how cheap that motor is. All right. I'd want something that would, you know, be able to go through the elements. And for 500 something dollars for an antenna, that's just my opinion. So. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Alright, this will be a rebuild. This has been K2JMA, 73 at all.